Oh. oh my God! This place is amazing! Whew! God, to think! <laughs> All of this? Just an hour outside New York. I mean, this is insane! God, Airbnb, they came through again. Colonial Rustic evokes so much. It's just, God. Can you imagine Northern soldiers in the Civil War just marching through towns full of houses like these? It's, I, I can't even comprehend it. Hey, Grace, you all right? What on earth is that? You know, I'm not surprised being a heathen as you are. It's Our Lady. Our Lady. The Virgin Mary, Divine Mother of Grace. I take her everywhere with me. She's my mascot. Hey, religion is the opiate of the masses. Is there one original thought in that head of yours, or is it all just regurgitations of the stuff that you learned at Rutgers? Now stop being such a communist and come kneel beside me. Having flashbacks from a Catholic upbringing I never had. You have no respect for the sacred. I, you are the closest thing to a goddess that this planet has ever seen, and here I worship. Hey, you are divine, you are femininity incarnate. The amount of utter bullshit that comes out of your mouth is astonishing. awfully tired from that long car ride. I think I might be ready for bed. Me too. Good. I figured that I would take the master bedroom and that you would take the guest bedroom down the hall. I, what? Well, you rented the entire house, didn't you? It doesn't make sense to me to have two fully furnished bedrooms and only use one. But I thought that we would. Why don't you go take a walk around the grounds? I'll get out of this dress and then you can come back and tuck me in. Oh, okay. I'll give you some time. Entree. Listen. What? Listen. Do you hear that? Hear what? Cicadas. Actual living cicadas. How quaint. Aren't the cicadas just the cockroaches of the countryside? The idea that we as a species have been so removed from other species and nature in general that you would actually express disdain for the sound of something so beautiful as a cicada. It's indicative of our devolving heart. May I make heart. a suggestion? What? Get into bed. Now, cicada. That's what I'm going to call you from now on. Tell me a story. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what do you want to hear? Uh, the story of Little Red Riding Hood or Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Yeah. I want to hear the story of who you're betraying. I don't like that game. Oh, Cicada, you're no fun. I, I'm not good at those kind of games, okay? Play with me. I am being faithful to you and you alone. For being a filmmaker, you are not very good at telling stories. All right. Okay. 
I got one. A story of betrayal. And once upon a time, there was a lovely little actress and a dashing young filmmaker <laughs> who was desperately in love with her. I think I've heard this one before. I don't believe in love, she would say. But as he watched her act, transcending the baseness of the world, he knew that that couldn't be the truth. And without love, there's, there's no art, there's no soul, no God. And surely there were all those things because he looked at them every time he saw her. So, as he sat in her good graces, knowing that soon she would be in the arms of another, he mourned not the misfortunes of himself, but of her. I don't like this game. Let's play something else. Guess who I'm thinking of. Um, I don't know. I guess it's somebody that you haven't met yet. Somebody that's just a stranger on a passing train. Someone that's searching for you as much as you're searching for them. You're wrong. I was thinking of you. Hey, you're... You're a pretty good actress, but I can tell when you're lying. That is the only thing better than acting. If you would have acted in my film, I think that would have come pretty close. I had a conflict, you know that. I would have loved to have acted in your film. Your films are phenomenal. Oh. You are a genius. Oh, just tell me that you love me and I'll forget the whole thing. Isn't what we just did proof of that? Can love be proven? Oh, what more do you want from me? Hey. What am I to you? A whim. Oh, great. Thanks for the update. Oh, is my little cockroach upset? Don't call me that. Did you know that I was out all last week? I felt awful, I couldn't get out of bed. Why? Because I was sick out of longing for you. You just told me that I was a whim. You, a whim? I had a fever of 105 degrees. Don't you know that that's how love is? Fever then chills, hot and cold. Here I am nearly dying out of love for you and you call it a whim. <laughs> I like me, I like you, I like the possibility of us too. I think we could be cool, so if you're feeling when the feeling come through. I like me, I like you, I like the possibility of us too.